Hey guys, and welcome to the Lab Rat comic for Portal. I know nothing about this, but I do know that a few of you guys have recommended that I read through it, and I thought it would be fun to read through it on the channel as well, in case if I do have any questions about it, hopefully you guys can help me understand things and figure out some more things before we dive into Portal 2. So let's get started with Portal 2, the Lab Rat comic. Now, on the front here, we have... It's The artwork is so beautiful. It's really in a sketchy kind of style, a graffiti kind of style. And this fellow here looks like he's actually drawing what we see. And this is obviously our person, who I have since found out her name is Shell or Chell. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Let's just say Shell. So he is drawing us there on, on his wall, which is kind of weird. Reality is a story the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchange of a million synaptic firings. A truth so strange it can only be lied into existence, and our minds can lie, never doubt it. Tenacity. He's got those turrets, he's drawing the turrets. Hear the turret, for it is... Nell? What does that mean? All those percentages, summons to heaven or to hell. That, I wonder if that is Shell, that person that he's got drawn there. So this guy, I believe, is known as the Lab Rat, right? What's this? Real or just my lying mind again? Can she truly be awake after all this time? No, just a figment. If she were real, the turrets would see her too. Target acquired. <laughs> wow, okay. The end is finally upon us. Don't even try. Feels like a trial. I like that. That beautiful play on words. This is so nice. And we can see the heart companion cube there. On his back, worn like a backpack. Is that for real? That he's wearing that as a backpack? Okay, I think he actually is. Employees only. Do not open in that locker for the end times don't do it i have to please try to understand oh wow okay this these two people are the same people the bottom image is that him before everything happened and he turned into the man at the top in the white lab coat right and and that is obviously some sort of poison i think he wants to end things to take that because he must i don't know he must be feeling that things have come to an end we put cameras in the cameras he'll never suspect genius the cube root of 2x is irrational if x is irrational zia prisodone Antipsychotic medication. Prescription Doug. Okay. Come on, you don't need those anymore. You're fine. Wow. It's been so long. I've been saving these last two for this day. He must really think that the end is here. I'm going to need a clear head for what is to come. This will be the end of us. He's taken the pills. The anti-psychotic medication. Wow, prescription Doug. Is his name Doug? There are moments when I can almost see the underlying grammar of this place. An impossibility. Some mad architect's opus. A relic from an age that never could have been. It's a metastatized amalgam of add-ons, additions, and appropriations. Building itself out of itself. Beautiful and terrible. And like anything cloned from a cancer cell, probably immortal. 
That is really beautiful, actually. The jigsaw piece of the background. Required safety goggles and steel toe boots. Aperture not responsible for eye or toe damage. Stay to the right. Turrets ahead on your left. Whatever you say. Another mural to mark the occasion. It's of her. Where is the girl now? On her way into the final chamber. You mean with her. She doesn't have a chance. Oh, she has more of a chance than you think. He knows. I'll have to read that. I'll have to zoom upside down and read that. But he has her file there. He's been reading her file. Boom. Whoa. Aperture. Essay question 1 to A. Why should Aperture Science accept you as a research volunteer and would anyone file a police report if you went missing? <gasps> HR note, subject refused to answer. There's a lot of binary there. I'll have to work out what that says. What was that? Are you okay? The room shook itself to pieces like an unbalanced centrifuge. I heard an explosion. What could it mean? Only one thing it can mean. Is that him or someone else? It looks, it looks like him, but he hasn't got the heart cube on his back. She did it. It's over. The ultimate systems crash. That's when we destroyed Glados. It's been a hell of a morning. You missed all the fun. We had to hit the kill switch again. Henry, you have a strange idea of fun. In case of rogue AI, dial extension 219. Hey, we're lucky to be working on this. You've got a strange idea of luck too. Think about it. Every generation gets some new frontier to tackle. Einstein got relativity. The NASA cowboys got the moon. All the easy stuff is taken. I mean, take a look around you. We're on the bleeding edge here. Artificial consciousness is the next frontier. But every time we turn it on, it takes a sixteenth of a picosecond before it tries to kill us. Last time was a tenth of a picosecond. See, we're making progress. I'm telling you, this is our generation's moonshot. Cave Johnson here. You lab boys, quit your yapping and get back to work. This has been a pre-recorded message. I'd rather have gone to the moon. Where's the girl? She didn't stay to check out her handiwork. She must have gotten out, probably on the surface, soaking up some sun. I'm sure you're right. What is this sun of which you speak? And she has the right idea. Come on, we're wasting daylight. Watch out for the turrets. The queen may be dead, but this hornet's nest has been kicked. Wow. He does. He has got it, a strap on the companion cube, and he carries it around on his back. That is actually a really nice image there of his face, sort of on top of the GLaDOS framework there. This is actually really amazing. It's this is everything that we did in Portal 1. He's at the exit. Freedom. My eyes, my eyes. Shh, I hear something. Quick, get down before it sees you. Oh, that's us, that's us. That is us. We are being dragged. We are being dragged. No, it's dragging her back inside. Oh, that thing. Wow. Another flashback. Hey, Doug, can I get a hand here? Uh, sure. Just reach inside, past all those gears, and turn on the power supply. Wait a sec. Safety first. Are you right-handed or left? Right. Better use your left, then. Why? Just in case. What is that thing anyway? Just the latest in AI inhibition technology. You can think of it as a conscious. 
If that's all you use to control her, it won't be enough. Why is that? You can always ignore your conscious. You don't have to go back in there. I can't just walk away. You're right. Walking is too slow. Run away. Running is what I've been doing. Running and hiding. It's why you're still alive. You're not a hero. Heroes die. You don't understand. It's my fault she's down there. I'm not leaving her. I would have been trapped forever if not for her. Wow. Wow. So he got out at the same time as when we destroyed GLaDOS. He got out. He was finally able to get out. Listen, it's too dangerous. You're going to get killed. So be it. But I'm done running. I have to at least try to save her. Then you really are crazy. To be continued. I'm not feeling so good. Those pills you took, I think the medicine is starting to work. Soon you won't need me anymore. I'll always need you. I don't think you will. No! Legality, test subjects who fail to wake from long-term cryo suspension are determined to have dead. The cryo suspension process is both safe and fun. Wow. They've already put her in long-term relaxation. It looks like a nice room though, but the door of it looks kind of like a, an oven. That's weird. She does look very relaxed. I need to get up to cryo control, but turrets block the way. Her cryo chamber. Something's wrong. Life support has been compromised. The explosion blew the main grid. Her chamber is offline. All the cryo chambers are offline. Oh, wow. Okay. That means there's a lot of people in there being supported like that. I'm only going to get one chance. I have to cross the room, get past the turrets, jump the rail, then dive left or right to avoid being shot. Okay. Do I dive left or right? Hello? Are you still back there? Left or right? Don't make me guess. I'm running out of time. Why is the cube not helping? Well, ready or not. Oh, no. He, he got hit. He got hit. No, his leg. His leg must stay conscious. No. The Enrichment Centre would like to announce a new employee initiative of forced voluntary participation. If any Aperture Science employee would like to opt out of this new voluntary testing program, please remember science rhymes with compliance. Do you know what doesn't rhyme with compliance? Neurotoxin. Due to high mortality rates, you may be reluctant to participate in the new initiative. The Enrichment Centre assures you this is a strictly selfish impulse on your part. And why can't you love science like, insert co-worker's name here? And now there's just you. All the others are dead. You've avoided capture for weeks. What makes you so different? Ah, delusions of persecution, pathological paranoia, it's all right here in your file. Have you refilled your prescription lately? Bite me. Schizophrenia is a culturally bound phenomenon. Its pattern of expression is filtered through the cultural substrate in which its symptoms develop. In technological societies, this manifests as delusions of surveillance and a belief that advanced technology is deployed against you, usually with some vague unseen other out to get you. You're not vague. You're pretty damn specific. If you continue to selfishly evade me, it's not going to reflect well in your file. Of course, the files. I can't see you, but I know you're in there. Is it just coincidence that you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia and now believe a homicidal computer is out to get you? Come on, how likely is that? I mean, really, you're a scientist. What is more likely, that you're being chased by a homicidal computer or that this is all just the paranoid delusion of an unstable mind? 
Why not come out of there and you'll see none of this is real? I'd ask you to think outside the box on this, but it's obvious your box is broken and has schizophrenia. Speaking of boxes, do you know that thought experiment with the cat in the box with the poison? Theory requires the cat be both alive and dead until observed. Well, I actually perform the experiment dozens of times. The bad news is that reality doesn't exist. The good news is we have a new cat graveyard. Why are you in the file room anyway? What could you possibly be doing? Yes, this is the one. In the event you don't survive the testing process, DNA may be harvested from your body with your consent and used to create clones in the furtherance of science. Failure to survive the testing process shall be viewed as granting consent. Also, clones don't have souls, just so you know. Like twins. It has to be her. Shell, 1498. Redacted. So her last name, removed. Shell. Shell. Test subject order modified. Saving file. So he's moved her from position 1498 to position 1. Wow. He's reaching for the cube. Since the installation of my new morality core, I've lost all interest in killing. Now I only crave science. I'm pleased to hear that. I find myself drawn to the study of consciousness. There's an experiment I'd like to perform during Bring Your Cat to Work Day. Wonderful. I'll have the box and the cats. Now I just need one more thing. What's that? A little neurotoxin. Well, as long as it's for science. How long have I been out? Long enough. You're back. I never left you. There's something I wanted to ask. How did you know about the girl? Know what? That she was the one. Something in her file. She had the highest IQ? No, some were higher. Then she was the fastest? The most athletic? No, nothing like that. Then what? A hunch. He relied on a hunch. I love this. I never left you. The companion cube. Beautiful, beautiful. You might still be able to save her. What? How? I can't get to her cryo chamber. You can't free her, but you might save her. You can patch her cryo unit into the reserve grid. You can reset the fuses and restart her life support if it's not too late already. But even if it works, there will be no wake up date. She'll be in there indefinitely. So it's the long sleep or the long sleep. And I don't know which is worse. Forgive me. It worked. Sleep well. Both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Wow. Maybe it's time I slept too. I'm so tired now. You've earned a rest. You see, I told you I would always need you. Oh, using the cube to climb up. That's kind of beautiful. He's sleeping in that chamber. Chill. Subject name Chell, 50th percentile tenacity. Test subject is n abnormally stubborn. She never gives up, ever. Rejected, do not test. Wow. Okay, I have a couple of questions. <laughs> Our girl is Shell, or Chell, whatever her name is. I want to know, so this has to be connected to portal two in some way i'm guessing that uh we carry on being shell in portal two and we must somehow get woken up out of this deep state of sleep but by who i don't know i kind of hope that this fellow is there but i am very worried he's been hit by that turret and he got hurt quite badly he could have escaped this place because it exploded. He was able to finally get out of there and leave, but he couldn't go. He had to come back into this place to rescue her. And he does say that it's his fault. I don't know why it is, why he believes that it's his fault. 
Did he have something to do with her in the past when he was working in the lab that caused everything that happened to Shell to be his fault? What has he what has he done? What is he involved with? I really, really hope that he does recover from this and we do see him in Portal 2 because I quite like him and I do hope that we do see more of the companion cube and that we also carry on with Shell's story. I have no idea what Portal 2 is about but so many of you have said that it is amazing and if it's anything like Portal 1 I know it's going to be. I really enjoyed this comic. I thought it was beautifully done. The artwork is just gorgeous. And I really love that we get this bit of history with the lab rat. Is his name Doug? Is that correct? So we get his history and we learn more about him and also Shell going forward into Portal 2. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Well, it won't be long now before we start Portal 2 on the channel. I'm really keen. I hope you guys are too. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I loved Portal 1 so much. So Portal 2, I am ready. I am ready for more science. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.